Welcome to the episode today. Um, today I did a little bit different approach of the vlog. So, um, well today it, it snowed today which just pissed me a little bit off. So what I decided to do is like take advantage of that. And I took, uh, well during the day I took a few photos that hopefully turned out alright. I'm seeing them for the first time here. And then here at night I took a bunch of other photos. And I am going to edit some of these here live on the vlog and explain to you some shot composure, my idea when I was um, taking them and how I'm gonna edit them. So let's, uh, well, let's do that. Um, if you didn't know, um, I, I actually did a uh, editing tutorial uh, before, I'll link that up. Um, but basically it's how I uh, edit when I'm, well, when I'm, when I'm colorblind. So I'm just gonna import everything here, and uh, we're gonna go through and see see what we like, see what we don't like. So let's just go ahead and do this thing. All right. I um I take all my photos in a few different landscapes uh, or um, orientations here. So let's look at the very first one we got. First one we got is close to the road. We got the. Uh, Christmas tree back there. Um, my camera, my ADD, is set up to do, I think it's raw JPEG, raw JPEG. I think that's the order, it's, or it's the other way around. So, great, let's just do this first one. That seems fine, I'm just gonna delete some of these. There we go. First thing I'll do, I'm gonna come over to my crop here auto crop just so it corrects it a little bit straight so I was a little bit off there while doing this I go to presets now here's why I use presets for me as I said I'm colorblind so it's really hard for me to edit certain colors uh, nighttime shouldn't be that hard though um, but these are all just as a little fun fact these are all just Peter McKinnon uh, packs the reason I use the Peter McKinnon packs are because uh, a, a bunch of friends of mine who are professional videographers and filmmakers who do a lot of their own color correction, um, they, I basically asked for their advice. They said this will probably be the best one for what I'm doing. Okay, so first I might bring up my exposure a little bit, just fill out that sky, you know, kind of make it so you can see what kind of what's going on, and. Um, Right now, I'm doing this thing that I learned from an audio um, perspective, but I use it here also with video. Um, the quote is, listen to what you're twisting. So, before you grab something and start playing with it, like, see what it does. Listen to what it does if you're doing audio. For here, I'm visually going to see it, so I'm going to bring it to the extreme, and that's not what I want. I want this a little more, so I might, you know, do that. Okay, cool, you know, so... I don't really know the direction I'm going in until I kind of start editing here. Um, so that can, uh, I don't really need that as much. Let's see. Um, well, it's nighttime, so that's kind of cool. Not, not so dark like that, also not light like that. So maybe somewhere in between, just like that. So uh, I'm messing around with my color temperature, which always scares me just a little bit and most of the people that work with me so I'll just leave that as is texture again I'm just listening to what I'm twisting or watching what I'm moving here so what what each thing does I know but I'd like to start fresh with every photo so I know what uh, this does so I might go like this I don't know think I need a vignette on this I definitely don't need a white one so Get that, maybe add a little bit of grain and get a more film look. Sharpening looks fine. That photo to me, that's the original. That's the edited, that's the original. That to me looks pretty basically done. Let's move on to another one. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Ooh, with the snow on it though, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna do this one. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go through here, kind of find a good baseline that I want to start out with. I 
think it's gonna be this one. Okay, so it did adjust some stuff, did adjust some contrasty kind of things, kind of brought the blacks out a little more. I might adjust those blacks, those whites, kind of popping those whites out. Might adjust some of those whites so you can see some of that snow better and contrast it with some of the there, so I don't have to use a vignette. Maybe bring the exposure up just a tiny bit. Um, this is how a colorblind person edits photos because sometimes it can be a little more difficult. I might bring a little vignetting in just for this this part right here, the uh, of the edges here of the, that lens. I did use the lens that right here is using, the, the wide angle lens is what I shot all these photos with, so I'm a little, uh, we'll see. I might do that, like take out a lot of texture to kind of get it nice, nice and smooth, you know, sharpen it up a little bit. That's kind of cool, I like that with the snow there, and it's kind of smooth around the edges, and the, the town out here is blurred back, so I'm gonna call that photo good. And let me go to one of the ones I did in the morning. Okay, cool, so let's do this one. Uh, we'll, we'll end with this one. The shot composure I was thinking of here was wrapping that road around. So you can see here, I got some leading lines with my trees and this telephone pole and this wall and this fence. Um, also literally lines, the power lines here. But it's really cool, so right Right up in here, I feel like it really frames the photo and it kind of frames it coming out with all these trees. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage here. I'm just gonna kinda, of, I like to maybe go to the extreme with this one. Let's see what we got for some Peter McKinnon style stuff. I wanna get not black and white, but a nice, ooh, that's kinda of nice. Lousy, cause then I can edit around it. So that's kinda, of, my thought process, this kind of sparks inspiration. And then I go from there. I really want to get this like winter feel, this winter vibe. That maybe. All right, we're gonna go with this and we're gonna edit this. Great, so uh, again, listen to what you're twisting, right? So let's do this. Kind of like, like the heavy contrast kind of stuff. Maybe bump, bump up some of that exposure there. Maybe bring that like here. Definitely get some, you know, bluer and blue for a fun factor so you know, I actually can't see the color blue. So I probably just fucked that up a little bit. So hopefully these look okay to you guys. I mean, again, I can't really see the color blue um take out some grain all the way let's add some vignetting in Ooh, let's get some white vignetting now that might be kind of cool right rather than this let's add some of that you see using that to my advantage great you can add in some of that to bring some of the white pop out there and if we want to go smooth, if we go really textured, let's go really textured on this one. Bring it crazy out there. Bring some of that color temperature down. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Back, go. Awesome. So I kind of framed it here. Oh, I forgot to do this part. Got to do this part. Auto. What I might do is crop it in so I can use that as my center. You know, come in maybe even just a little bit more. I think that's. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, a little off center here. So let's, let's play with this. Let's see. Maybe a tad over just a little bit more oh, maybe back maybe let's go back a bit more awesome so there we go 
that's how I edit some of these photos. That's in like some of these shot composures. Like let's go back to the very first one we did. This here, I wanted to bring the nighttime. I wanted to bring some texture with the ground. I wanted to have some leading lines. So you can, there's some those yellow lines. There's this wall. There's the sidewalk. So that's my leading lines here. Back to the back to the photo or the to the to the bench. The leading lines are very clear in this one. It's the bench itself right here. So uh, taking it through an, a shot you normally won't get to see. I like to have those those shots of what you don't normally see. Um, and then like, so this is the edited version. That's the original. You can clearly see it brightens it up and pops out all that stuff. So um, that's how I'm taking photos in the winter time. That's my thought process behind um, most of the photos, especially in the winter. I want to, it's a little bit different with the snow and reflections of white. So. Um, you know, I, I like a lot of texture with snow. I think that it's a really cool texture. So, um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. Got my apple cider while, uh, while editing the photos. So, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode. All right.